Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel tonight. Well, maybe not tonight for you, but anyways, it's tonight for me and I am in the mood for water marble. So I've decided to kind of show you how to do this pretty fall gold and purple style, um, almost like a sheer water marble. I wanted to go with something lighter and um, more feathered for um, the fall weeks. It finally feels like fall where I am and don't mind I'm a little naked and <laughs> all stained up here tonight. I'm taking three of my favorite uh, water marble colors which are just a couple of these awesome purple colors by Pure Ice and my favorite shimmer gold by Wet n Wild, amazing for water marble. And I have taken the front and the back of my nails and uh, covered them with this awesome Queen liquid latex. I got this at Walmart actually for like $3.95. Super impressed with the performance of that stuff. Um, it's totally, totally worth it. And then I'm going to finish up with this uh, gel-like gel effects by Seshvit. I love this stuff. And I was kind of, eh, I didn't want to spend the money on it in the beginning, but now I'm totally sold. So I'm going to alternate my colors and just get started. And I'm going to start with the darker colors. And I want to kind of follow up, hopefully very promptly, with dropping these sequential colors in and I want to do whoops oh boy that sunk to the bottom and that's fine it's a good thing about water marble is you have a lot of mess ups or you're not used to the way the polish drops it's pretty forgiving and just kind of keep building up your bullseye and your droplet it's all right if it's not um, spreading out as much we just want a little bit of that color in there it doesn't need to be saturated I'm going to get a nice drop of gold, not too much. And then we're going to end with that cute little bullseye we've got going there. I don't need anything too crazy, so I'm going to take my nice stiffened brush and I'm going to just split this up the center a little here. Not too much. We're going to keep this kind of simple and down. Ooh, I like how that spreads because that kind of opens the color. And I'm going to come down and then back up through this beautiful color band. Oh, that's beautiful how it opened up. And then back down towards the end. I absolutely love this banded kind of design. If you've ever seen my water marbles, I don't like things that are like too flowery and patterny. So I am gonna see if I can, hmm, let me see if I can stretch this out a little and see if I can get one more finger worth of design in this water marble. So I've got the last three. I'm going to gently try to dip in here. Hopefully so you can see, but you know how it goes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try to place, um, and I'm trying not to touch because I forgot to uh, get my baby powder out and kind of powder this um, to keep the latex from sticking together, but we will see. Let's try to pick our designs nicely. Let me turn this so I get a better look at it and just press your fingers into the design. Let me give the top of the water a little bit of a blow. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything that's going on, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And kind of gently draw out. Oh wow, beautiful bands of color in there. I'm just gonna blow on the design really quick and very gently to kind of blow off any of that excess water. Let's move this aside and see what we have here. I'm going to try to, there we go, gently peel up. Oh, look at my fingerprint. That's awesome. And remove our design. Ooh, wow. I really like the way that turned out. Kind of chunky toward the end. This one turned out a bit more uh, patterned, of course, because it was toward the center. Let's remove the nail from that. And notice how I left this hand naked so I could destroy it later on. Wow, this is going to be really, really nice. Let's take off our last latex here. 
Oh wow, guys, I'm very, very pleased with that, how that came out. With just a little teeny bit of effort, you can get something that's absolutely gorgeous without having to worry about it. Now, I think I'm going to throw a top coat on this really quick because this is such vite. I really have no idea how to say this. If somebody has a translation or exactly how to say that so I don't feel like an idiot every time I want to rave about this top coat, I would be forever grateful. I'm going to just gently run this first um, layer of top coat. I mean very, very gently. I'm not trying to pull or drag, and I'm using more top coat than you think you should to kind of seal this in. And then on the second coat, you can go in with a little heavier hand and make sure things are covered and wrapped. Guys, I hope you can see how absolutely gorgeous that turned out. Um, I especially love the thumb. It looks like it's got a little eye in there. <laughs> um, the ring finger came out very nice too. I like all of them, but let me know if you like more of these designs and you want to see something else like this more often on my channel. I really don't know if you guys like my water marble videos, but I love my water marbles, so I want to keep on doing them. Thanks as always for subscribing and putting up with my craziness. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great day.